Okay, Finland has two languages that are official, Finnish and Swedish. Finnish is spoken by about 95% of the population, and then Swedish is spoken by about 5% of the population, or 6%. Um, in a lot of ways it works really well, but it's also sometimes problematic. So everybody, okay, they have public school in Finnish and in Swedish. So you can send your children to school in either language to complete their, their whole education. But if you go to a Swedish school, you have to also study Finnish as a second language. And if you go to a Finnish school, you have to study Swedish as a second language, in addition to other foreign languages. So what happens then is that Swedish, because it's the minority language, I mean, pretty much everyone learns Finnish because otherwise you can't really survive in the country. Um, all the Finnish speakers need to also study Swedish, but it's, it's not always very popular because people say, like the criticisms are that they are not, everyone in, in um, Finland speaks, all the Swedish speakers in Finland speak Finnish anyway. Um, and also if they go to Sweden, they all have English in common. They wanna, people wanna spend time studying other languages. So lately in the last few years, it's been controversial and a lot of debate because they don't want, they wanna get rid of a lot of people want to get rid of the, of having to study Swedish in school. So I guess I understand both points of view and I guess I think it's mostly just stressful that people have this kind of conflict and I understand why. Um, to have a lot of government positions, you have to, to my understanding, have a functional knowledge of both and there are certain kinds of exams that you can take to, to prove that you have that. Britain is interesting for this because obviously English is the national language and we all speak English. Um, and regional languages don't really exist within England. There was one in Cornwall, um, but that, the last speaker died, like I think 15 years ago. Um, Wales has its own language, which is interesting. That's like, depending on where you live in Wales, you might be able to speak it. Or well, some people, I had heard a story of a friend who only learned English at 10 years old. Um, Scotland has its own language, but that's even less known than, um, than Welsh. Um, but interesting aspect of languages, I'd say, is the languages that immigrants have brought to Britain. Um, specifically in big cities, um, you have people speak their community languages. And in certain cultures, like um, Southeast Asian, where the women's role is to be within the family, nurture, care, that type of thing, women can sometimes, they don't even learn English because they've not been interacting with the outside society that much. Um, yeah, I've got lots of friends I'm from London that have second languages. What Interestingly what happens is they, they're very good verbally in their languages but I got a friend to help me with Spanish homework once and <laughs> they were terrible at the grammar and everything because they've not been schooled in their languages but they hear it at home and they speak it at home. Um, yes I mean it's not uncommon to so like where I live, there'll be a shop and everything's written in Polish because the shop serves the Polish community. Um, yeah, we, uh, as a, I'd say learning a language, we're probably not that great in England because we have the luxury that English is lingua franca of the world and if you go to many countries, people have a basic knowledge. So yeah, that's the status of languages. So um, the uh, the official language in my country is is uh, Polish. Um, it's official and uh, like um, in the reality, uh, major the very majority of the population uh, speaks uh, the language. Um, uh, unfortunately, not so many people uh, can speak foreign languages in, in Poland. 
uh, especially when we are talking about um, about uh, adults. Um, now, uh, in in schools, uh, of course, children and uh, youth they they have a foreign uh, language class. Uh, first, they start with English. When they are, yeah, actually uh, f from from kindergarten, they they start le uh, learning foreign languages, and um, after after they they start with the second foreign language, mm -hmm. uh, which is um, German, Spanish, French. Mm -hmm. Those are like the uh, most popular languages. Mm -hmm. Uh, sometimes um, adults uh, remember some Russian because uh, um, in the times of, uh, of uh, Soviet Union rule, Russian was like obligatory in the schools to learn. Uh, like for example, my, my parents, they, they had a Russian language class, but uh, because it was obligatory, uh, the people were like a bit uh, resistant. They mm -hmm. they didn't they didn't want to to learn that language. So uh, very often uh, it's like after uh, ten years of uh, Russian class, they can they can barely speak at all. So mm -hmm. um, maybe they they only understand like uh, simple words. Uh, yeah, and uh, know the alphabet, uh, know how to read. Yeah. Is it better with English right now? Uh, Do people want to learn English? Yeah, like um, it's not it's not obligatory. Yeah, mm -hmm. so uh, the people uh, do it because because they want. So their their attitude is is different, mm -hmm. and. Um, yeah, English like is like more international. Uh, it's not it's not only in the in the eastern block of countries. Mm -hmm. It's like all around the world, so it's more useful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. However, all all depends. Mm -hmm. I I never I never uh, uh, I was never uh, learning. Russian in the in the primary school in the mm -hmm. secondary school, and I I first uh, started because I want it. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's always like that when you want something, your results are uh, way better when you, when you when you do it because you you have to. Mm -hmm. mm, of course, Koreans use Koreans. Mm -hmm. Koreans is official language in in Korea mm -hmm. and <clears throat> lots of things that Koreans and Chi Koreans, Chinese and Japanese are same or similar but the, the among them is totally different. Mm -hmm. I can speak Chinese because when I was young I lived in China but I cannot speak Japanese because mm -hmm. it's really different. Even I couldn't write or even or understand or speak. Yeah that's big difference, biggest difference among them. And in Korea, of course, English is really important because mm -hmm. there are lots of foreigners or foreign jobs in Korea and lots of companies seeking, seeking mm -hmm. to someone who can speak very well. Mm -hmm. And second, important language is Chinese, of course, because China is getting bigger market. So, and China and Ch China and Korea is really close. Mm -hmm. And there are lots of markets and consumers to going out abroad. So Chinese is really a uh, very important language. And Japanese is not the important in Korea because <laughs> the relation, actually, the relationship between Japan and Korean is not that good right now. The 
there are some complicated problems between two, two countries for history or territories and like mm -hmm. that. So I think Japanese is not that important language. And it, uh, of course, Spanish is has getting no is getting more important yes is <laughs> exactly it's more important than before because the latin america those of latin america countries use spanish and latin america market will be bigger mm -hmm. than before so lots of koreans want to wants to learn spanish as well mm -hmm. So first is English, second is Chinese, and Spanish. That's all. Mm -hmm. okay. Is it 